Hi guys, um, my name's Lottie, welcome to Bewitching Stitches. Um, this is my new YouTube channel that I'm setting up um, just to generally talk crafty things, um, mostly fibre arts. Um, so I specifically am into um, knitting, crochet um, and spinning. Um, but I do all sorts of various crafty things, so um, don't be surprised if you see lots of other random stuff um, popping up every now and then. Um, so yeah, basically I'm aiming to do um, a weekly video um, just to recap what I've been working on each week. Um, hopefully get some finished objects, um, because at the moment I have so many works in progress. Um, <laughs> I'm terrible for just starting something new. Um, I know a lot of you will probably have the same issue, um, so hopefully I'm not alone in that. Um, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to just um, recap what I've been working on this week um, and yeah, my intentions and things like that. Um, so I'm going to start off with knitting. Um, so this week I have a finished object. Which is exciting and not only is it a finished object but it's my first Christmas present ready um, for the festive season um, so I'll show you those um, so these are um, I'll show you some little socks that I've just finished there is another one as well I promise <laughs> they haven't been blocked yet as you can tell um, but yeah basically they're just a plain vanilla sock um, they are the contrast is um, drops Nord in fog um, and the main body is um, Regia, Regia, so sorry if I butchered that, um, Regia four ply in Papillon. Um, so it's really pretty um, colourway and then the blue just kind of um, picks up some of the blues that are in there. Um, so yeah I'm really really pleased with these. These are my first ever attempt at um, a contrast sort of cuff um, heel and toe so um, yeah it went really well it's quite tidy so yeah I'm quite pleased with that um, so my first Christmas present ready to go in the box after they've been blocked so that's exciting um, so on the theme of socks going on to um, some whips that I've got going on now some works in progress um, I have started another pair I can't really show you them because they are another gift and I'm not sure if the person like watch um <laughs> so i will yeah i'll describe them to you uh i'm following a pattern it's called on the fence um by anna lange um and they're really really pretty socks um and i'm doing them in again the drops nord the fog colorway by the way a Apologies if you can hear my cat screaming in the background. She hates closed doors. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm doing the drops mode in the fog and also a colour called um, Old Pink, which is really, really pretty. I'll show you the... So this is the Old Pink. Um, so I think these are going to come out really, really nice. This is my first foray into um, knitted colour work as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how those turn out. Um, and they're really really so cozy that that drops Nord um, yarn oh, is so snuggly I love it it's I just want to make everything out of it uh, <laughs> I think the issue is going to be giving away socks that are made of it in the end because I'm just going to want to keep them I know I am um, <laughs> so my next work in progress um, knitting wise that I'm working on is a bit of a sort of rogue one um, I haven't worked on it a huge amount, it's kind of something I pick up every now and then when I just fancy a bit of like mindless knitting. Um, it is my own pattern, so it sounds quite grandiose when I say that, I'm literally just making it up as I go along. Um, it is a, well, hopefully it's going to be a jumper. So anyone who knows me knows that I was working on a stripy jumper for the last year or so. Um, and I obviously didn't check my gauge naughty um so by the time I finished it it was about eight sizes too big um so I've gifted that to my mum <laughs> but that took me like a year and a half to do um and I ended up with no jumper so I've started a new jumper and this time I'm sort of following my own pattern um so I will show you it so I'm, I'm calling this one the party ring jumper you can probably guess why if um, you're familiar with the biscuits 
Um, so <laughs> I just picked these colours because they remind me of like spring and irises and yeah, I was really, I really like the colours and then when I decided to do the double stripe, my mum very nicely pointed out that it looks like a party ring biscuit. Um, <laughs> so it's the party ring jumper now. Uh, so you can see this is the front panel that I've finished. I've done like a fun little rib on the bottom and then I've just got the double stripes going through. This is as well my first ever attempt at shaping a neckline. So please go easy on me on that one. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm quite chuffed with it. So I'm just working on the back panel now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to obviously shape the neckline a little bit less on the back. Okay, so sorry if the camera angle or anything has changed slightly. I had to go and check if my cat was okay because she was screaming outside the door as if somebody was murdering her. Turns out she's fine. <laughs> she just wants to come in. Uh, but obviously, being a cat, as soon as I opened the door, she buggered off. Uh, <laughs> so, where were we? There is one more work in progress that I have, but it's not entirely knitting. So, this is a typical me thing. So, I started on a blanket. Um, as a present for somebody. Again, I can't show it because it is a gift. Um, so I started knitting and I'm so impatient. Anybody who knows me will know that I am literally the most impatient person. <laughs> and knitting is pretty like slow for me. So I, I'm predominantly a crocheter. So for me, obviously crocheting is so much faster. I'm used to that kind of like, you know, you can see progress um, kind of straight away. Uh, so yeah, the knitting was getting a bit slow for me. Um, so I have started adding in bits of crochet and I know that sounds horrific and probably all of you are going to go, what? <laughs> um, so what I'm doing is like sections of knit and then like I've designed a crochet motif that I'm going to kind of repeat. Um, so it'll be like knit, a row of motifs and then a row of like a chunk of knit and then on and on. Um, just to speed it up really um, and just to sort of add a bit of interest and a bit of texture to it um, so yeah hopefully that will turn out well um, but like I said I can't show you that at the moment because it is a gift um, so the next crochet work in progress I have going on at the moment is thanks to Ange um, at Yarn and Yarn side um, knitting when I was quite young so I learned to knit before I learned to crochet um, uh, I wasn't very good at it, I sort of didn't take to it very well to begin with, um, so I could just do like straight back and forwards, just knits, pearls, or just knits, to be honest, just knits, knits, knits. Um, so I couldn't really make anything, except for scarves. Um, <laughs> I couldn't even cast on or cast off, so my mum used to do that bit for me. I'd knit the middle and then give it back to her and she'd cast it off for me. Um, so <laughs> I sort of started acquiring a bunch of like novelty yarns I guess you call them like fluffy ones and stuff like that just because they were fun to knit with um, just because I was doing the like the basics um, it was just you know a, something to keep me interested basically um, so yeah I've had all of these random yarns sitting around in the house for ages um, and I didn't really have anything that I wanted to do with them uh, and then I was watching and um, I was watching her vlog here on YouTube um, and she mentioned that she has the same issue um, and that she was using hers to make twiddle muffs um, so I was like oh my god that's a genius idea uh, so I have also decided to make some twiddle muffs I'll show you the ones that I've done so far they're not finished um, mostly I mean some of them aren't even sewn up yet I have started adding bits and bobs to them um, but not like I say, not not finished. Um, so here's an example of one. So it's just using up all this like the fluffy bits, um, like this, which reminds me of toilet paper. You know, it's, <laughs> it doesn't make it sound especially appealing, but you know, it's quite soft. Um, and there's like, yeah, little fun yarns. And then the rest of it is sort of held double. There's like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bit of sparkle in this top bit. Um, and then I've just started adding like, there's a little, little coily bit on here and some ribbon that you can sort of tie and untie. Um, I'll show you some of the other ones as well because I've added bits and bobs. Um, so I've tried to sort of group colours together like um, I know Ange was doing as well. Um, so by the way I should say if you don't know what twiddle muffs are, um, basically 
yeah, I'm going to send these to um, Knit for Peace, um, which is where Andrew's sending hers. Um, and yeah, they're just used for people who have um, dementia or some sensory issues and you just put your hands in there or you can just fiddle with them in your lap. Um, so it's, it's supposed to be quite calming. Um, I mean, I can understand that as somebody who's got a non-existent attention span. I love to fiddle with things. So I can imagine these would be fab and they're cosy and the different textures just add something, you know, a little bit more tactile to it. Um, this, this yarn here, oh, I love it. It's so soft. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's basically a fab way to use up little bits and scraps and like, yeah, all the fluffy bits of yarn that I never really use. Um, and then I've got some like novelty buttons and stuff, although saying that I can't find them at the moment. Um, but I used to use them for like scrapbooking and card making and stuff and I haven't really done that in years now. Um, so I can use up some sort of novelty buttons, sew them on for a little bit of interest, um, some ribbons and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just a good way of using up all those little bits and bobs that you're not really sure what to do with. Um, and it's obviously for a good cause, which I love. Um, and it keeps me busy. <laughs> um, as if I don't have enough going on whip-wise. Um, but yeah, I love to be doing something of an evening and crocheting for me is just like mindless, you know, especially like that is um, the whole thing I've worked up with like a size um, six millimeter crochet hook. Um, and I've just used like UK trebles, so US double crochet. Um, just made a big square and then folded it in on itself and sewed it up the middle um, and yeah it just works up nice and quickly and it's yeah it's satisfying to do so I'm really enjoying doing those at the moment I bundle them up and send them off to knit for peace um, it's not just twiddle muffs they accept as well there is a whole bunch of stuff I will link their website in the description box so you can have a little look if there's anything you fancy making or if you've got some spare yarn um, so that is all the crocheting I have going on at the moment which for me is not a lot which is concerning um, <laughs> but like I say I've got so many knit work in progress going on at the moment that it's kind of a good thing that I don't have too much going on crochet wise um, so yeah, and then um, on to spinning, so um, I'm, I say relatively new to spinning, um, so I started spinning maybe a year or two ago um, with a drop spindle, um, I just taught myself basically, I saw, I don't even know where I got the idea from, but I saw it somewhere online I think, and I was like, I want to do that, um, again, it's such a typical me thing if you know me. Uh, <laughs> So I taught myself to spin with the drop spindle um, and I loved it. So I took the plunge back um, earlier this year and I bought myself a second hand spinning wheel um, as a bit of a birthday present to myself um, and I love it. I'm obsessed. I yeah I just I find it so so soothing um, like for somebody who literally can't sit still um, it's the one of the only things that I can do where I don't need to be doing something else at the same time so like even with crocheting and knitting I find I have to be like watching TV or listening to an audiobook or a podcast um, I can't just like sit and knit or sit and crochet but with spinning I can just sit there um, I don't have to have anything else on I think because it you know it's combination of like foot motion and hand motion and you know a little bit of brain power going on as well it's enough to kind of like keep me busy um and I really enjoy it and like the it's just soothing motion I love it basically um so I only have one major spinning work in progress going on at the moment because I have just finished one um I don't have the yarn in here with me but I finished um so basically when I purchased my spinning wheel uh the lady I bought it off uh, keeps sheep um, and as I was like oh yeah I'll have to get some fibre to spin on my wheel now she was like have some fleece <laughs> I was like what <laughs> so literally she went into her garage and just like filled a tote bag full of like raw fleece for me um, yeah and I processed that from start to finish I don't have any photos um, because I'm an idiot um, but yeah, I washed it, carded it, um, and then spun it up on the wheel, um, and now I've plied it. It's not in here with me because it is just waiting to be washed, just to set it. Um, 
but yeah and then it would be done so I'm hopefully gonna make something out of that it's such beautiful yarn as well I will have to show you in a, an upcoming episode um, because it's got like beautiful natural color variations to it um, so it goes from like dark sort of steel gray to like a beautiful um, almost like off-white sort of uh, light gray it's really really pretty I don't know even what kind of sheep it is from um, I know that's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's worked out beautifully and I'm hoping to be able to have enough to turn it into like a sort of lacy cardigan or something like that um, because I think that'll really show off the, the colour. Um, it's so beautiful. Um, but the one that I'm working on at the moment, so it's fibre that I purchased from Fibre Hut. Again, I will link them in the description box. Um, I buy all my fibre related stuff from there really. They're a small business and they're, they're based in Evesham in the UK. They do like custom fibre blends um, you can buy. Um, and the one that I have bought, I've got a little piece of the unspun here, just so you can see it. This is a, the fibre. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's got a lovely little sheen to it. So that, yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, this is called Woodland Walk. Um, so it is made up of British white faced woodland wool. It's nothing I'd heard of before, um, but it is really soft um, and it spins up beautifully. Um, and that's been blended with the shiny bits that you can see. It is, let me get this right, Raimi vegetable fibre, which is made from nettles actually. Um, and yeah, it's like, it's, it's got like a beautiful sheen to it, it's got a nice texture, um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying spinning this. Um, I'd say I'm probably like three quarters of the way through it, I had two massive parcels of it. <laughs> so I'm hoping, again, fingers crossed, that I will have enough to make a jumper at the end. Um, obviously it is designed, you can over dye it if you want to. Um, I know the nettle fibre is resistant to acid dyes so you can get some sort of fun effects with it. Um, but I didn't really want to over dye it. Um, I really like natural fibre as it is. Um, and yeah, I was feeling like, uh, you know, like a chunky, like cabled fisherman type jumper maybe. Um, so hopefully I'll have enough for that. Um, I don't know if I will though. Um, but if I don't, I'm thinking maybe like a cabled, like chunky cowl or something like that would be really pretty. Um, you know, something cosy. I love cosy stuff. So something like that out of it would be fab. Um, but yeah, it's really lovely to work with. Um, they do so many different blends on Fibre Hut. Um, I recommend having a little look through. Um, I'll definitely be buying another one from there because I'm, like I said, about three quarters through this project now. Um, so I'm hoping to get some more fibre, please, if you have any recommendations for really nice fibre, um, yeah, let me know in the comments because I'm always open to new, new squishy yarn goodness. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's all my works in progress that I am working on at the moment. Like I say, um, I will sort of keep this going weekly. I'm going to pop, um, if I remember... I will pop some progress keepers in these projects um, now so you can see where I was. Um, if I do get any work done on them in the week then we can see how much I've done. Please let me know what you think of any of my whips, let me know what you're working on. Um, I am in the process of setting up an Instagram page for this channel as well, um, obviously which will also be called Bewitching Stitches. Um, so yeah, give me a follow on Instagram, I will link that in the description box as well. Um, and please do join me again next week um, for another sort of roundup of what I've been up to. Um, I might try and do some extra videos as well, so like maybe, um, you know, another one in between the sort of weekly vlog, um, sort of off topic a little bit. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know if you've got any questions that you'd like me to answer about myself. Um, but yeah, so nice to meet you all, um, and I hope to see you all again here soon. Bye guys, I'll see you all next time.